Have you ever wondered about the true power of control in your life? It's a force that can shape our decisions, mold our emotions, and ultimately define our path. Yet mastering control is an art that eludes many. Today we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of control, to understand its intricate dance in our lives, and to master it for our betterment. In a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable, gaining control can seem like an elusive quest. But what if we could harness this power, not just to steer our lives, but to transform them? This journey will take us through the realms of self-discipline, decision-making and emotional regulation. We'll discover innovative ways to cultivate control, ways that are unique, effective and transformative. Stay with us as we unlock the secrets to mastering control and using it to enhance our lives in profound ways. Self-control is a concept that's as intriguing as it is vital. At its core, it's about the ability to regulate and direct our actions, emotions and thoughts in a way that transcends momentary desires or impulses. It's a skill that enables us to make decisions that are aligned with our long-term goals and values. This form of control is the inner compass that guides us through life's temptations and distractions, keeping us on a path that leads to our ultimate objectives. Yet understanding self-control goes beyond the mere ability to resist temptation. It's about knowing when to act and when to pause, when to speak and when to listen. This skill interweaves through our daily interactions and choices, shaping not just our actions, but the very fabric of our lives. It's what allows us to pursue a career goal relentlessly, maintain healthy relationships, and cultivate a sense of inner peace amidst life's turmoil. The psychological underpinnings of control are fascinating. Studies suggest that self-control is like a muscle. It can be strengthened with practice and can tire from overuse. Therefore, mastering self-control is not about exerting it relentlessly, but about cultivating it wisely and strategically. It involves understanding our emotional triggers, recognizing our patterns of thought, and learning to redirect our energies in productive ways. This understanding forms the foundation upon which we can build a life of discipline, purpose, and fulfillment. In the quest to master control, balance emerges as a key concept. It's not just about exerting control over every aspect of our lives, but understanding where control serves us and where it can limit us. This balance is crucial in maintaining a healthy relationship with ourselves and the world around us. It's about knowing when to firmly steer the course of our actions and when to let life's currents guide us. This equilibrium allows us to navigate life's complexities with grace and effectiveness. The art of maintaining control while being adaptable is akin to a dance. On one side, there's the need for structure, routine and discipline, elements that keep us grounded and focused. On the other, there's the unpredictable nature of life which often requires us to be flexible and open to change. Mastering control, therefore, involves developing the agility to respond to unforeseen situations without losing sight of our goals. It's about crafting a strategy that is both firm in its direction and fluid in its execution. This dynamic balance is particularly evident in decision-making. Effective control in decisions means not just relying on strict rules or guidelines, but also incorporating intuition and emotional intelligence. It's about understanding the context, weighing options with a clear mind, and being prepared to pivot when necessary. This approach to control doesn't confine us, but rather opens up a spectrum of possibilities, allowing us to make choices that are both thoughtful and responsive to life's ever-changing scenarios. Improvisation, often seen as the realm of artists and performers, holds valuable lessons for mastering control. At its heart, improvisation is about adaptability, the ability to respond spontaneously to the unexpected. This skill is incredibly useful in everyday life, where circumstances can change unpredictably. By developing our improvisation skills, we enhance our ability to stay composed and make effective decisions under unforeseen circumstances. It's about embracing the unknown with confidence and creativity, turning challenges into opportunities. One way to cultivate improvisational skills is through engaging in activities that push us out of our comfort zones. This could be as simple as trying a new hobby, participating in a group activity like theatre or a music jam session, 
or even changing up our daily routines, these activities train our brain to think on its feet, to be more fluid in our responses, and to control our actions in a way that is both spontaneous and calculated. Over time, this practice not only boosts our adaptability, but also our overall confidence in handling life's uncertainties. Another aspect of improvisation is the acceptance of imperfection. It teaches us that control is not about having a perfect response to every situation, but about navigating the imperfections gracefully. In improvisation, mistakes are often seen as stepping stones to something unexpectedly wonderful. This mindset can be incredibly liberating in our daily lives, reducing the stress of needing to control every detail and allowing us to experience the joy of the unexpected. It's a reminder that sometimes the best control is knowing when to let go and flow with the moment. Artistic expression offers a unique avenue for mastering control, especially in the realm of emotions and decision-making. Engaging in artistic activities, whether painting, writing, music or dance, allows us to channel our emotions in a constructive and controlled manner. These creative pursuits provide an outlet for expressing feelings that might otherwise be difficult to articulate. As we pour our emotions into our art, we gain a deeper understanding of them, learning to regulate and control them more effectively in our daily lives. The process of creating art also demands a certain level of decision-making and problem-solving skills. Whether it's choosing the right color palette for a painting, crafting the perfect sentence in a story, or improvising a melody. Each artistic decision hones our ability to make choices thoughtfully and deliberately. This practice of controlled decision-making in a creative context transfers to other areas of life, enhancing our overall ability to control our actions and reactions. Art in this sense becomes more than just a form of expression, it becomes a tool for developing a disciplined yet flexible mind. Strategic habit formation is a cornerstone in the mastery of self-control. It involves identifying and implementing routines that align with our goals and values, thereby instilling a sense of order and predictability in our lives. This deliberate approach to habit formation allows us to automate beneficial behaviors, reducing the mental effort required to make positive choices daily. By establishing strategic habits, we effectively program our actions to be in sync with our aspirations, ensuring that our daily practices propel us towards our long-term objectives Creating these habits, however, requires more than just intention. It calls for a methodical approach. Start by setting clear, achievable goals and breaking them down into small, manageable tasks. Incorporate these tasks into your daily routine, making them as integral as brushing your teeth or having breakfast. Consistency is key here. The more you repeat a behavior, the more ingrained it becomes. Remember, the goal is not to overwhelm yourself with drastic changes, but to gradually build a framework that supports your journey towards self-mastery. Monitoring and adjusting these habits is equally important. Regularly assess how well your habits are serving your goals and make necessary adjustments. This might involve tweaking your routines or replacing habits that no longer align with your evolving aspirations. Embrace this process of refinement as part of your growth. In mastering control through strategic habit formation, you're not just developing discipline, you're sculpting a lifestyle that resonates with your deepest values and ambitions. Engaging in problem-solving games offers a unique and enjoyable way to enhance decision-making skills and self-control. These games, ranging from classic puzzles like chess and Sudoku to modern strategy video games, challenge us to think critically and make decisions under pressure. They provide a simulated environment where we can practice controlling our impulses, analyzing various outcomes, and making strategic choices. The beauty of these games lies in their ability to sharpen our minds while providing a fun, engaging experience. The skills developed through these games extend far beyond the game itself. They teach us to remain calm and focused in challenging situations, a crucial aspect of maintaining control in real-life scenarios. Regularly playing problem-solving games can improve our ability to assess situations quickly, weigh options, and decide on the best course of action. It's a playful yet powerful way to train our brains in the art of controlled, thoughtful decision-making, enhancing our overall ability to master control in our daily lives. 
If you're finding these strategies for mastering control insightful and beneficial, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue creating content that empowers and informs. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest videos, each filled with valuable tips and insights to enhance your journey towards self-mastery and personal growth. History is replete with figures who exemplify mastery of self-control, each offering valuable lessons for our own lives. Take, for instance, Leonardo da Vinci, whose unparalleled discipline in both art and science led to groundbreaking discoveries and timeless masterpieces. His meticulous approach to his work, balancing creativity with rigorous study, showcases the power of controlled focus and dedication. Similarly, the strategic acumen of military leader Sun Tzu, author of The Art of War, demonstrates the importance of disciplined thinking and decision-making in both warfare and everyday life. These historical figures, along with others like the Stoic philosopher Seneca, who advocated for self-control as a means to a virtuous life, provide practical examples of how disciplined focus and determination can lead to extraordinary achievements. They teach us the value of understanding our strengths and limitations, remaining steadfast in the face of challenges and adapting to changing circumstances with wisdom. By reflecting on their stories and the principles they lived by, we can find inspiration and guidance in our quest to master control in our own lives. Incorporating these lessons from the past into our present, we can see how the discipline and control these figures exhibited remains relevant. Their stories are more than historical accounts. They are testaments to the timeless nature of self-control as a key to success and fulfillment. Mastering control also involves understanding when to let go. Paradoxically, true control often means recognizing the moments when relinquishing our grip can lead to better outcomes. It's about discerning the difference between situations that require our direct intervention and those that benefit from a more hands-off approach. This ability to let go is not a sign of weakness, but a reflection of wisdom and strength. It shows a deep understanding that not every aspect of life can or should be controlled, and that sometimes the best action is inaction. Letting go can manifest in various forms, whether it's delegating tasks at work, accepting that we cannot change certain aspects of our personal lives, or simply allowing events to unfold naturally. It's a skill that reduces stress and anxiety, fostering a sense of peace and acceptance. This doesn't mean we abandon responsibility or stop striving for our goals. Rather, it's about adopting a more flexible approach, understanding that the path to our objectives might not always be linear or within our direct control. In essence, the art of letting go complements the act of maintaining control. It brings a balance to our efforts, ensuring that our pursuit of control is healthy and sustainable. As we integrate this understanding into our lives, we find that our ability to control what we can and let go of what we can't not only enhances our well-being, but also leads to more effective and harmonious living. It's a delicate balance, one that brings depth and richness to the concept of control. As we wrap up our exploration of mastering control, remember that the journey is as unique as you are. Control, in its essence, is about making choices that align with your deepest values and aspirations. It's a powerful tool, but one that requires balance, understanding, and sometimes the courage to let go. Thank you for joining us in this insightful exploration. We hope you've found valuable strategies and perspectives to apply in your own journey towards mastering control. Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and thank you for watching.